They pitch it to Pollard. Pollard breaks back to the inside, reaches for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard finds pay dirt. One of the most explosive running backs in the NFL, Tony Pollard, back-to-back campaigns with at least 1,000 yards. He joins us courtesy of Sleep Number here on NFL Total Access. Tony, appreciate you giving us some time here. I I can't help but think about the type of season that you and your teammates had. 12 wins on the year, a a division crown, not to mention a two-seed in the NFC. Dak was also in the MVP conversation. You tell me, man, how do you classify the season that the Dallas Cowboys had this past year? Um, I mean, regular season, I would say we had a great, had a great showing regular season. Um, just disappointing in the postseason. You know, when you think about that disappointment, uh, Tony, a lot of times when running backs elevate roles, go from a change of pace back to a lead back, there's a difference. What's the challenge in going to the RB1 role? I would say really just just making sure I'm, I'm maintaining my body, um, making sure I'm taking care of my body so that I can, you know, withstand the entire season of, of that punishment and the pounding that comes with being the lead back. So just just being more responsible with, you know, just getting body work done, massages, things like that, trying to stay on top of it. Tony, you made reference to the regular season being strong for this Dallas Cowboys team and not necessarily the end result in the postseason. I saw some comments from Micah Parsons, your teammate, a couple days ago. He said, hey, I hope we can get some more players to get us over the hump. You tell me, man, you're inside that locker room. Who are some of those players that you think could potentially help this team really get the ultimate goal, which is winning winning the Super Bowl? Um, That's tough because... Honestly, if you ask me, we had we had everything that it took to get the job done. We just we came short, you know, and um, that's no excuse to anything. But, you know, we just we just got to be better in those big moments and those big games. And, and we got to get the job done. You know, Tony, I, I want to pick your brain because they're, they're, with the Cowboys, people either love them or hate them. Right. It's look, they call America's team for a reason. <laughs> What is it like to walk in the stadium and kind of know that you're the villain just because you got the star in your helmet? Um, I mean, it's it's surprising once, like, the first few times, but once you've been here for a while, you've played so many games under these lights, um, so many primetime games, you get used to it. You get used to everything that comes with it, the attention, the media, um, the good and the bad. Tony, I know you're in Radio Row right now. You're doing a ton of interviews. You played this year under the franchise Mm -hmm. tag. I'm sure you've been asked about your contract negotiations a couple times. But take me through this, man. How do you anticipate this going with the Cowboys or potentially any other team this offseason? Uh, I would say right now it's kind of hard to tell with it being so early and, and, you know, with the season still going on. um, After the Super Bowl and when free agency gets going, I say I think it'll be a – a much clearer picture to see how things are going and what direction it's headed in. Okay, so whether you're with the Cowboys or not, what are some of the things that you want to work on next year to maximize who you are and what you are in this league? Um, Work on my explosion, um, just quick movement, quick twitch, things like that. Um, and speed, you know, you can never have enough speed in this, in this game, especially coming off of, you know, last season I was injured for the off season, so I couldn't really get better and, like, progress my speed training and, and things like that. I was trying to get back to square one. So now I feel like with me having a healthy off season, you know, it's, it's only going to be up from here. Hey, I'm curious because everyone obviously is in Vegas for the Super Bowl. You guys matched up, by the way, against this Niners squad. What's the biggest challenge this defense will present to a guy like Isaiah Pacheco? man um just the physicality that they play with and you know the linebackers that they got the iq that those guys have on the field um being able to make every play on the field sideline to sideline that's that's big you know um you, that's something you can't really coach before we let you get going i mentioned it at the top you're here with us because of a partnership with sleep number what are you working with with those guys on uh, yeah, I've been teamed up with Sleep Number for a while now. Just um, just harping on the importance of, of getting a good night's sleep and, you know, how big, how much it affects you the next day and your performance on the field, whether you get a good night's sleep or you don't. Um, and, you know, with me coming off of the injury I had, um, broken leg, torn ligaments in my ankle. So I go through practice, me standing up all day. When I get home, my ankle swole, foot swole. 
But, you know, having a, a sleep number bed where I can elevate it at night, you know, help get some of that swelling out, you know, it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah, I don't think people realize the importance of recovery yeah. when it comes specifically to how you're sleeping at night. Tony, appreciate you sharing your story with us and obviously giving us a, a take of what it was like to play this past season with the Dallas Cowboys. Appreciate the time, man, and looking forward to seeing you on the field real soon. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me.